this video, we'll go over our inventory management system and purchase orders. Let's get started. To access your inventory, click on Inventory. Here you can see your entire inventory. Any product you have added to orders from our integrated product catalogs will automatically appear here. Your stock is also separated by warehouse. Now let's go over these columns. On hand is your current inventory level you have on hand. Committed is the inventory amount needed to fulfill all your orders, basically, the amount you've committed to in your orders. Incoming is inventory you are yet to receive from outstanding purchase orders. Reorder is the amount you need to reorder based on your stock on hand, stock committed, and stock incoming. Available is based on stock on hand and stock committed. If this number is negative, you don't have enough inventory to fulfill orders. To create a purchase order, select a few products and click on Create Purchase Order. Let's select a vendor. You can also change the due date to let your vendor know when you would like to receive the products. Next let's key in the amount we would like to order. To speed up data entry you can click the Auto Populate button which copies over the recommended reorder amount into the quantity boxes. Next let's check vendor stock. Yo Print integrates with Alpha Broder, SNS Activeware, and Sanmer to bring your real-time vendor stock information. We integrate with other vendors too, check out our website for the full list. Here you can check the vendor stock by their warehouses and select your negotiated price. Once you click apply, the price gets copied over. You can also upload any relevant files. Now let's click the create button, and the PO has been created. YoPrint creates one PO per warehouse to simplify the process of receiving. You can view or edit your purchase orders here but for now, let's head over to the purchase order list page. Let's double click this one that we've just created. This will launch a quick details dialog so we can quickly go through your PO without losing context. Let's click go to page to access the details page. At a glance you'll notice that we've added the PO number and the vendor name at the top. Next, you can change the status. You can customize these statuses from our settings page. You can also email this PO to your vendor. Select your vendor contact and select the pre-configured email template. Make any changes if you need to and finally hit send. You can also send the PO with a shareable link. This link allows your vendor to view the PO details without having to create an account or login. You can print the purchase order details or the label. You can also edit this purchase order or delete it. Over here, we have the PO details. We have the vendor information, the date due, date issued, the warehouse, and the billing address. Now let's look at how receiving works. Adjust the quantity of the products you'd like to receive and click Receive Selected. You can void it if you made a mistake. Once you've received everything, the purchase order is automatically marked as completed. You can also attach any files. If you need to place the same order again, you can simply clone this PO. And that's your Prince Inventory Management and Purchase Order System.